Hey there, horror fans. Today we're going to talk about a movie that is both entertaining and intelligent. You may know Justin Long from horror movies like Jeepers Creepers and Barbarian, but did you know he also starred in the 2009 movie Drag Me to Hell? Directed by Sam Raimi, this movie tells the story of Christine Brown, a loan officer whose life takes a turn for the worse when she denies an older client an extension on her loan. Let's dive into what makes this movie so great. Like other Sam Raimi horror movies, Drag Me to Hell has excellent characters, a smart premise, and a fantastic ending. But what happens at the end of the movie? Well, after Christine has been tormented by her client Mrs. Sylvia Ganesh, Christine and Clay Dalton meet up at a train station. Clay wants to ask her to marry him, but instead, he gives her an envelope that has a button that she left in his car. This freaks Christine out as she knows that she made a massive, grave mistake. She gave Sylvia an envelope that she wasn't supposed to. And instead of allowing the curse to break, it will now follow her around forever. Christine dies by falling onto the train tracks, and a demon grabs her and brings her to hell. The Drag Me to Hell ending is so effective because it essentially describes exactly what is in the title of the film, which isn't something that is seen very often. Although Drag Me to Hell isn't considered an example of elevated horror, there are some serious and weighty themes in the movie. The story takes on greed, money, and capitalism, taking on the concept of someone paying back a loan. While Christine is just doing her job and trying to live a quiet, regular life with a paycheck, Sylvia doesn't think that she should be so focused on what money people owe the company. The fact that Christine tells Sylvia that she has to leave her house is an important plot point. If Sylvia was simply paying back a little bit of money that she had borrowed, the curse might not feel as monumental. But because Sylvia sees Christine as being responsible for taking away the place she feels safe and comforted, Sylvia feels that she must do this. Drag Me to Hell was beloved by horror fans and critics seem to enjoy it too. The movie has a 92% rating on the Rotten Tomatoes Tomatometer based on 269 reviews and a 62% audience score based on over 250,000 ratings. Many reviews at the time said that it had a good sense of humor and also offered up some scary moments. Horror movies are often either campy and funny or terrifying, as it can be tough to strike that balance. Drag Me to Hell does succeed, however. Overall, Drag Me to Hell is an underrated 2000 seconds horror movie. For some, it might have flown under the radar, and if horror fans discover it now, they will likely find it to be an entertaining ride. The Drag Me to Hell ending is as smart and enjoyable as the rest of the movie, and it's definitely a shocking and scary way to wrap up this Sam Raimi horror movie.